All right, today we're going to be watching the gameplay intel drop of Call of Duty Black Ops 6, and I think this has everything to do with gobble gums, right? Yes. So let's just get into it. Um, I'm just going to be talking about it. Market that can scratch the itch that Black Ops 6 zombies gives. It's just... Um, the itch I have is I want no loadouts. And a playable cast. Like, set four characters. That's what I want. It's so fun to play through that gameplay loop over and over again. One of the newest things we have is called Augments. And it's the new way for us to upgrade perks, ammo mods, and field upgrades. So it's kind of like Cold War, I guess. Like, you upgrade the perks, like he said. But what I got is that... It does different things. Like when you upgrade Juggernaug, you can put Dying Wish onto it. That's what I got from another thing I saw. So that's actually kind of cool. And I'm kind of curious to see like that PhD and must one of the augments must be instead of flopping, it turns into sliding. We'll give you three major augments and three mine. Okay. So energy mine. Mm, this is the major augment. Uh, carousel, uh, three energy mines float around you. Okay. Scatter mine, the energy mine will split into three mines and scatter and detonate one time each, okay? Inspire, uh, the energy mine becomes a turret shooting targets one at a time. All right. Augments, pretty to choose from. The minor ones we got increases max charge by one, okay? Frequency boost increases detonation count and duration of energy mine okay and then siren makes it into a so monkey bomb so major augments that's pretty dope. could will be more drastic so there's a major augment that will and then that's turn obviously into... like the one that rotates around you like that is kind of cool i'm not even gonna lie like it it genuinely is cool and i really hope that they really don't fumble this hard three orbs that will essentially carousel around you and protect you a minor augment might be stat changes like this napalm burst will now deal slightly more damage that's actually kind of cool i hope that's cool how we can do that to even those like One that's of insane our brand new perks melee macchiato gives you a yes okay i am so excited to try this perk because i want to see if it's like ethereal razor because i know it was kind of useless in black ops 4 but could you imagine Ethereal Razor with Cold War mechanics and how much damage you can do? Like, I just rewatched a video of the most damage dealt in Cold War Zombies, and it was over 2 million. 2 million damage on a Mangler with a knife, fully upgraded, legendary, and I think Blast Furnace with Ring of Fire, and it was like 2 million damage, and it only went up the higher it went up in rounds. Devastating Punch Melee. It has a major augment that... By far one of the coolest perk machines, too. I'm just going to put it out there. By far one of the coolest designs. That will improve the melee attack speed for all of your melee weapons. Okay. I know perks have been in every game, but the augments really do give a new breadth to perks and using them. Adding that customizability to using perks, making it feel individual to the one who's using it. The no okay. perk really feels the same. PhD looks sick. I've always, I love the TV now on PhD. I think that TV on PhD is actually cool. In between two players. Augments are a game changer. They allow you so much control over the way you want to play and experience the game. Now we have replaced the armor upgrades in the arsenal with ammo mods. Okay, armor upgrades for ammo so mods. So when you go to the arsenal, you can apply ammo set. mods here. Weapon Thank you. And upgrade is rarity. We are bringing all goes back and really just. Jesus Christ. Yeah, Gobble Gums, I'm really da damn excited for. Uh, I'm going to try to do the most I can with Gobble Gums. I really want to see, like, you know, like how Mr. T likes to find Codename Pizza did Myth Busting Mondays. I want to see, like, all the crazy stuff that you can do with Gobble Gums. And I'm going to try to do crazy, crazy, crazy things with them. Looked at how we could refine it and improve it for Black Ops 6. So yeah, we'll be able to pick five gobble gums okay. in menus and put those into a pack that you then use inside the match. And in the match, you just find a gumball machine and you go up to it and then it'll give you one of those gobble gums. And you can... Which I heard it, you can actually change them, like the... 
pause menu showed up and it said change packs of gobble gums and change field upgrades like how it did in cold war and i think that's cool i think it's just going to be like a next round thing and i think you can only change them like three times and i don't know i think i think it's going to be cool and i do know the first one is free like in black ops 3 the first gobble gum each round is free choose when you want to activate them and you can activate multiple at once. They can rain. Oh yeah, that's another thing. So on your D-pad, if you have three gobble gums, you can rotate through them which ones. And for speed running, this is gonna be insane. This is gonna be nuts for speed running. Because think about it, you can have a shopping free wonder weapon and perk perkaholic. And you can use all three of them. And then you can just speed run the East Trek like nothing. Change from small changes in gameplay to drastic changes and upgrades that can really benefit a player. They can give you all the perks at once or... Perkaholic, baby. That's back. Even allow you to fire a weapon without using up any ammunition. They can be really powerful when used in a timely manner. Gobblegums are the best thing to ever be added to Call of Duty Zombies minus a prestige system. I really hope... My biggest complaint that I had with Cold War, and now that the normal prestige is back, I hope the prestige system is different in multiplayer and zombies, but I hope weapon rank stays the same. You know what I mean? So like in multiplayer, I might be prestige one level 12, but in zombies, I might be prestige eight, and I still have all the same weapon levels on bulls, and they both carry over. Weapon builds are great. They allow players to save a build, which includes attachments and blueprints okay. on a weapon. Players to then set that as a zombie build. That means when you're playing a match and you access a weapon via a wall buy or the mystery box, you'll get that zombie build in the game. Get okay, good. So it's like attachments in BO4 and like Cold War and stuff, and um bo3 like you make the attachments in the armory and the thing and then when you're loading and get that gun it's going to be with those attachments core, a mode that we love and we just want to continue to this really feels like cold war with black ops 3 like they just mix together and that's what we're getting and i'm kind of excited Push it in new directions to keep it fresh and exciting but at the same time making sure it's delivering on all the big elements that are core to the dna of the mode so we're creating new experiences with that trap looks insane i'm not even gonna lie the pack a bunch of camo and that trap nuts absolutely nuts that. okay august 28th con next i probably won't be able to watch it sad but you know it's whatever 